Welcome to this introductory video from the Colangio Carcinoma Foundation and the Nursing Advisory Board. Since 2006, the Colangio Carcinoma Foundation has evolved into the leading global resource in the research, education, and public awareness of Colangio Carcinoma. This three-part series provides an overview of biliary tract cancers and treatments for patients, family members, and caregivers facing this new and rare diagnosis. It will also introduce some of the resources available on our website, cholangiocarcinoma.org. A cholangiocarcinoma diagnosis can feel overwhelming and leave new patients feeling scared and isolated. So we are here to provide information to help you understand what cholangiocarcinoma is so that you can navigate through your diagnosis, asking the right questions, and leaning on resources that can help you. Let's start with the basics. The biliary tract is a delicate network of ducts that deliver bile from the liver to the gallbladder and then to the small bowel. A cancer can develop anywhere along that system. Biliary tract cancers are divided into subtypes based on the location of the tumor within the liver. Intrahepatic cholangiocarcinomas originate in the small bile ducts within the liver. Perihilar cholangiocarcinomas, also known as clat skin tumors, form at the meeting point of the major bile ducts that drain out of the liver. Distal cholangiocarcinomas originate in the large bile duct outside of the liver. Gallbladder cancers form in the gallbladder. Treatment and interventions vary based on the staging and extent of the disease. Although the surgical operations differ based on location, the chemotherapy and immunotherapy treatments are the same for all subtypes. Each subtype is made up of different biomarkers. A biomarker identifies molecular mutations in the tumor. Biomarkers can determine the potential targeted therapy treatment options. Although the causes of biliary tract cancers are not known in about half of affected patients, there are a number of risk factors that have been identified as possible causes. They include primary sclerosing cholangitis, or PSC, obesity, diabetes, hepatitis B and C, alcohol use, and gallstones. If the doctors suspect cancer, a biopsy or a small tissue sample is taken to confirm this diagnosis. Sufficient tissue should be taken to confirm the presence of cancer cells and for additional biomarker testing. After the diagnosis is made, to determine the best treatment plan, imaging with CT, MRI, PET scans, labs, and physical assessments should be reviewed by a medical team, which then should include at least a surgical oncologist and medical oncologist who is experienced in treating patients with biliary tract cancers. An initial decision is made on whether the cancer can safely be removed by surgery, which is referred to as resectable, or cannot, which is unresectable. In some instances, the cancer is unresectable initially, but with the help of other therapies, the tumor size can be reduced enough to attempt surgery. In patients who cannot go to surgery to remove the cancer, they may have either locally advanced cancer or metastatic cancer. Metastatic or stage four cancers have spread from the liver and bile ducts to other areas of the body. Locally advanced tumors have grown outside of their original location but have not spread. However, they may be too large to remove safely or involve too many blood vessels to be removed. In biliary tract cancers, surgery followed by a course of chemotherapy is considered to offer the best chance of potentially curative treatment. If not able to be surgically removed, the intent of therapy is palliative, which is special medical care for people living with a serious illness to control cancer for as long as possible. This type of care has improved greatly within the last decade to prolong life with meaningful and quality time. Visit curecca.org to learn more and request a newly diagnosed care kit. <music>